This is a carbon molecule. Carbon is an abundant part of the wood-based substrates used in CO2 bags. The carbon molecules are transformed into CO2 gas over the course of fungal decomposition. Much like a lung, the fungi breathes in oxygen and exhales carbon dioxide. Aggressive cultures generate larger volumes of CO2 via the secretion of oxalic acid and calcium oxalate. These secretions react with the substrate and transform into even more CO2. The volume of carbon dioxide generated, or how much CO2 a ppm meter reads, every 10 minutes is directly proportional to the speed of decomposition. The faster it grows, the heavier it flows. CO2 flow from decomposition begins shortly after activation and continues generating CO2 rapidly until fully colonized. At this point, the CO2 declines as the mycelium prepares to grow shrooms. Then one day, a gardener named Donnie figured out how to separate the live culture from the sterile substrate in the same filter patch bag, creating the first real CO2 bag with customer activation technology. Gardeners remove the gasket and mix the culture with the substrate. All the other bags come factory activated, cultivating CO2 before you buy them. The box is not just a box. It's a bag hanger and light shield in one. They are as sturdy as they are recyclable and made of sustainable forestry initiative two-ply cardboard. Don't be fooled by has-been CO2 bags of the past. Demand the best. Demand my CO2. The real CO2 bag.